give you an opportunity now to set this up as best you can set up this uh this game as best you can i'm going to give you uh a minute and a half a minute and a half to set this up on your own your work and then we will reveal how to how to do the setup and uh, go over it together and then proceed from there so take a minute and a half do your best to set up this game and then we'll review go All right, that was a minute and a half. Let's see how you did. Let's see how you did. Uh, we have six films, we got six days, and we got 12 films available, two in each of our six languages, six languages. That means that six of our films will not be used in this particular game, but there's no reason to deviate from our normal sequencing sketch. So there are our entities, two films in each language using single letters to denote the language. And then we have our uh, six spaces because those are going to be where we put our films. Okay, so far, so good. Now it's time for us to get into our rules, starting with rule one. Neither day two nor day four is the day on which Norwegian is a film that is shown. Well, we should just build this right into our sketch, right? So uh, day two, day four, that is not going to be the day on which we have Norwegian, uh, just as we do in formal logic using the tilde to mean not, because if you use a, a dash, it can get confusing. All right, now about rule two. A film in Italian is not shown unless, oh, we got a formal logic rule. It, it, there's a selection element here. We should not be surprised to see a, a formal logic rule on this game. Um, all right, well, here we go. So we got this uh, not unless, the way to properly translate this, the way to properly translate this is like such. If a film in Italian is shown, that means that a film in Norwegian is shown the next day. Now let's talk about what this means. Let's talk about what this rule means. Where are some places that you know for a fact that Italian cannot go because Norwegian cannot be shown the next day? What are some uh, uh, slots? Some Which films could not be in Italian because Norwegian could not be shown the next day? What you got? Good, both one and three could not be Italian. And then some of you picking up on six. Again, wonderful, excellent. Yes, six could not be Italian because there's no room for Norwegian to be the next day. Excellent deductions, excellent deductions, understanding how this rule works. And we get the same kind of rule here with our rule about the Greek films. So we translate it in the same way. This means that the fifth film and the second film could not be Greek based on the same deductions that we made before. Now you'll note that the slides have not written down these deductions. Negative deductions are, um, are, are one of those things that uh, as you develop your own expertise, you will learn how many of them you should write down. 
that there's no one hard and fast rule for every person. As you are starting your practice, I encourage you to write as many of them down as you see, because that allows you when you're studying the explanations to figure out whether you made all of the proper deductions or not. But over time, many test takers decide that they are not going to write down all of those negative deductions. And I encourage you to only do as much work as you need to in order to find the right answer always. That's what this using previous work thing is all about, doing less work, getting more points. So let's go, let's go. So we're gonna see a question now, a question now. New if question, new if question. Now we want to attack new if questions on our first pass through the games because they force us to do additional work. I wanna be clear, because I know we have some, some new folks in the room. On the new if question, this rule only applies to this game. It does not apply to any other question in the game necessarily. We can use this work in other places, but it doesn't have to apply to those other questions, which is why we do not um, mess up our master sketch. We will set up our own work off to the side and we will label it like such, like such. We're, we will label it. Now, it does not take long to do this. Y'all, it's, it's seriously, it'll take you like, I don't know, less than 10 seconds to draw a new little sketch, but it will save you so much heartache in terms of erasing and trying to figure out what was supposed to be in your master sketch and what wasn't, right? Set up a new little sketch, label it, and then you also have the advantage of having the sketch available to you in case you need to use it on a subsequent question. You are not gonna run out of room uh, in your scratch work. You're gonna have plenty of scratch paper to use. They've improved the scratch paper, so now the watermark is less clear and uh, it's you got plenty of space, right? So uh, you just wanna make sure that everything is orderly and neat. You're gonna have plenty of room. Okay, well, now we have to incorporate our new piece of information. We have to incorporate the new if. And the new if here says that if two films in Italian are on day two and day five, well, then we just do that, right? We build that directly into our sketch. There, there you got them. Two films are shown on day two and day five. Great. Well, now we need, we need to make deductions before we can figure out what the answer means. So what do we know about days where we have uh, films in Italian? What, what happens after we have films in Italian? What are we going to have to deduce here? No, don't tell me the answer. That, 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 that's... This is not a question that will give you any points. Let everybody play. There's no, you don't need to prove it to us that, that you know what's up. To, after we have a film in Italian, what kind of film do we have to have the next day? There we go, yeah. We're going to have to have a Norwegian film the following day. We're gonna to have to have a Norwegian film. So we're already building out this sketch. Now, don't get that Greek uh, rule twisted, right? We don't want to, um, to assume that one in four have a Greek film. You'd be reading your formal logic backwards. And formal logic is the thing you need to practice. Well, that's chapter two in our unlocked book. So check that one out as well. We cannot say for sure which films will be shown on one and four. So they say that the film shown on day one could be any of the following except... Well, so far as we know, it literally could be any film with the exception of two, because we've already used both Italian films and now we've used both of the Norwegian films. So it couldn't be Italian or Norwegian because those are used up, but literally any other film is on the table. And that is why the correct answer here is Delta. Yes, indeed, Delta is the correct answer um, be because we've already used both Norwegian films. So a numbers deduction here. Excellent. And this isn't a gimme. This is one that that's many test takers um, struggle with or take lots of time with. Um, based on our data, only about 79% of students under time conditions get this one right. But see, because we did a good job of setting this up and leaving it to the side so that we could use it later, we could use it later. Like, like on a question like this one, a complete and accurate list question. Now these can be very time consuming questions very time consuming indeed, but we can use our previous work to our advantage. So we are supposed to find the days where we could have an Italian film. Now, I, before you do any work on any complete and accurate list question, tell me in the chat, 
we always ask the same question. We have, is this one time or forever? Is this a complete and accurate list all at the same time or forever? And here, the answer to that question is forever. We want all of the days that could indeed have an Italian film. Ever, 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 ever. Okay. Well, we've already got, we, we know, we, we know that uh, we, we've got um, some, some Italian days, right? We, we definitely can have Italian on two and five. So which answer choices can we eliminate based on the fact that they do not list day two or they do not list day five as options? Which answer choices can we get rid of? Yeah, very good. We can get rid of answer choice alpha because it doesn't list day two. We can get rid of answer choice delta because it doesn't list either of them. We can get rid of answer choice echo because it doesn't list day five. We know for a fact that Italian can go on day two and day five based on our previous work. So we can just eliminate those answer choices. Well, heck now, that we're just down to two answer choices. We, we'd see the difference between them. Charlie says day six. Uh, Bravo says day four. Uh, of these, we've already made this deduction. We already talked about this. Remind me in the chat, why is it that we know that Italian cannot go on day six? Why is it that Italian cannot go ever, ever, ever on day six? Never, ever, 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 ever I'm gonna have that Italian on day six. Because we won't have room for Norwegian. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Very good.